We have a health alert right now, a new report from the CDC that highlights a dramatic spike in ADHD prescriptions for young women. Chief Medical Correspondent Jen Ashton is joining us now from Massachusetts. And Jen, this is something here. You're talking about women in their 20s and 30s? Yeah, let me set this up for you, George. The CDC looked at women ages 15 to 44 over a 12-year period and tracked specifically the number of prescriptions that were written for the class of medication used to treat ADHD. So we're talking about amphetamines, stimulants. The numbers were jaw-dropping. In women 25 to 29 years of age, there was a 700% increase over a previous period of time. In women 30 to 34, a 560% increase. This is just for prescriptions, so we don't know if the diagnosis rate also went up. Well, that, but this that was, was going to be my question. Numbers. What's behind this spike? Are, are people actually, you know, like you say, diagnosing more ADHD? We don't know. We don't know. Okay, so first of all, we have to look at the diagnosis. But what this really speaks to is an ill-defined and evolving field in adult psychiatry and medicine known as adult onset ADHD. Because remember, this is typically a, a condition that's diagnosed in children. So we don't have good data on its manifestations in adulthood, nor do we have good data on the use of this class of medications, which has been out, by the way, for almost 100 years. So we do, do have a good profile on it. But but not really in adults. So this is concerning. And we're also not sure, George, whether this is medical use, recreational use or abuse, or how that falls out. So this is really the first step in observation. CDC obviously looking at reproductive age women here. What are the possible risks for pregnancy? Uh, Listen, that's what really jumps out here is when you talk about this age group, these are obviously women where the unplanned pregnancy rate in the United States hovers around 50 percent. And many of these women could be using these drugs during pregnancy. There are risks and we need to be aware of that. And it hasn't been studied in humans, only in lab animals. And it, it's not a great profile. So it needs more research. Well, we have a lot more to learn. OK, Jen, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.